Have you ever felt so overwhelmed because you're committed to too many projects? Gave up? Do you have trouble staying productive? Today, I got you. I'm gonna give you a tour of my notion and show you how I stay productive working full-time as a designer at a startup, doing content creation like YouTube, TikTok, as well as my own side projects. Hello, my name is Sophie. I design for a living. I love efficient, useful, functional, beautiful products. Notion is exactly that. Welcome to my Notion. So I have quite a few different workspaces. For example, personal plans, finances, YouTube recipes, and I get to, which is basically my version of a to-do list. I designed my Notion space with a couple of things in mind. One is to be able to visualize my goals because I really believe in being able to see what you want to become and what your goals are. Second is feeling accomplished whenever I check something off. Third is being able to keep track of my tasks easily. So let's start off with my personal section. This is like looking into my diary. <laughs> All right, so I use my personal section to note my goals, my to-do list, and anything that I'm learning right now. My little reminder of what to do if I ever feel sad, discouraged, anxiety, or stressed. And this section is very heavily backed by therapists and mental health professionals because I used to work in a mental health startup and whenever I feel stressed, I can just come back and look here at my notes at what to do according to science, basically. Next is a little reminder to myself that I should be less emotionally attached to my investments and work, especially investments regarding, you know, don't just invest in something because I love it. I should also definitely consider, you know, their balance sheet. Are they spending way too much money on marketing or are they actually generating good profit for the future? So a lot of this is actually based on an, another YouTuber that I learned this from called Better Creating. Basically, I will start my year off by making goals and reviewing my previous year. See, this is my year review for 2021 and 2022, where I note down my wins and my losses, what specific things made me happy. And I will also use the 2080 rule. I then go into visualization and goals. Just want to note down all of your goals for this year and write it all out so that you can visualize it. So here I have my goal one, two, and three. Goal one is be financially stable. Two is to expand my knowledge exponentially. And three is be healthier physically and mentally. So let's add goal number four together, make YouTube videos. What I have done is I added a little template button and this is really useful. This is goal number four. Here you're gonna write as if you already achieved it. I have a YouTube channel. Get milestones to make 50 YouTube videos, monetize my YouTube, 5K subscribers, potential obstacles and solutions. Cool, please. I am going to add this to my table, my goals here, 2022, and then I'm gonna add goal four. I'm gonna link this to my YouTube notion page ta-da now we've created a new goal so now we've established our goal let me show you my everyday to-do list i name it i get to just because it's a reminder of potentially how lucky i am to get to do what i get to do every day it's a method of practicing gratitude and appreciation i have three widgets on the top quote widget countdown timer so right now i'm on leave a reminder i should spend my time wisely during my break which is this database right here i added it as a calendar view and i call it this month so here i list down all of the things that i have to do in the future film youtube today and once I check it off, it's actually gonna disappear. So I prefer everything minimalistic and I prefer shoving all of the things that I've done away. So this way it doesn't just overcrowd everything. I just list out all of the things I wanna do, like work out every day. I haven't been working out every day. For example, you can see here that I'm really trying to learn a lot of 
design related courses, really further expand my skills. I also have my first therapy session next week. And then above here, this is actually in relation to the goals that we just created. Remember how we added it to our database? So now this database is actually linked to that previous database so that I can see whatever my goals are. I added this cover art from Beaming Design just because I love her design. I love how inspirational and positive they are. And this is just a reminder of like a vision board for myself. I can achieve these things. And then on the top here, I have my weekly list where I have a, an overall bird's eye view of everything that I need to do. Here I have my today list, tomorrow as well as future. So in the future list here, I basically just brain dump all of the things I need to do and then I can allocate a date to it whenever I have the time. I also really like to block out time here. I find that I work a lot better when I have exact planned directions of what I have to do next. Otherwise, I will just wander off and scroll on YouTube and Facebook and not do anything. My today, this week and this month, they're all linked to the same database of to-do tasks. What I've done basically is just added filters here so not show any unchecked tasks. Sort filter to sort it by time. Also have another filter for each of the views. I have another filter that showcases only tasks for tomorrow. And then for future, I added a filter to show all unchecked tasks. For my overall calendar list, I also created different templates. So for example, just now we created the new goal YouTube videos, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a new template called Film YouTube. Goal is related to goal four, so let's create a new goal. So next, I'm gonna come in here to my overall vision board area. I can see all of the tasks that I'm doing in relation to goal four, which is YouTube. What I've also done for my previous goals, for example here, Basically, I just want to learn more and read more books, right? This is connected to my to-do list. And again, I filtered it to show only goal two. For each month, I have a different list of milestones. So for example, for April, these are all of the things that I want to learn. This again is connected to my overall to-do list. And then to show only my goals for April. This way, I basically have a master list and then out of that master to-do list, I have all of these little smaller to-do lists based on the master list so that I have everything consolidated in one place. And I also have tiny little tables where I can keep up with my separate individual goals, but everything is synced to each other. And that's how I have everything planned. I also have a dedicated space for my plants. I also have this dedicated space for all of the recipes that I like or recipes that I want to try. Also have this archive section, which is where I put all of the pages that just, just does not serve me anymore. A YouTube section, which is where I plan my videos. I have finances section. This is actually in relation to my side projects, you know, for example, issuing client invoices and stuff like that. And just keeping track of how much money I've earned this year and my expenses, you know, for example, camera equipment, that's an expense that I need to note down. So I've also favorited some of my most important workspaces, such as I get to is super important because I look at this page every single day. Um, April learning, just because it is April right now. So I'm referring to all of my learnings in April and just noting down, reviewing, oh, okay, what else do I have to learn before this month ends? And then visualization goals, which is all of my goals. I also have this design section, which is where I'm noting all of my learnings in regards to design. And then passwords, which is where I just noted all of the passwords I forget. So every day I wake up, I would just come look at I get to, and I'm gonna look at all of the things I have to accomplish today. And I'm gonna set my Pomodoro timer on to crank things out. I also find blocking time off really, really useful to actually getting things done and not wasting time. And that's how I manage my different projects and goals.
I hope this video helped you and I hope I made some sense here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure you check out these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.